Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd do something a little bit different here and show you a uh, software tool being made by an author named Nafreyu, uh, N-A-F-R-E-I-U, and they're working on a uh, standalone program to build LCDs for Imperium Galactic Survival. So let me show you what's going on with this here. So uh, also in the video description, I will have a uh, a link so you can get the uh, the software yourself now it's in development yet so it's not all the way uh, done and I also I'm trying to record this a little bit uh, uh, funky like on my computer so let me drag it over to the screen that I'm recording on here uh, I seem to fire up on the other one so when you get the software it's just called Imperium LCD studio and pretty straightforward this is a what you see is what you get LCD creator got some really cool options to it uh, so to start with, right now, the LCD size is set to one by one. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, making the LCDs inside of Imperium, you should uh, be familiar with that. You can change the size. Let me also get that over to the other screen here. Um, it would be a lot easier if it was bigger and things like that on the screen. I got it small like this so I can show you all the different menus. Uh, a little bit tough to record, essentially. So the LCD uh, width and height are the same as that of Imperium. You can go down to a minimum of 0.25 or maximum of 5. I'll just keep this one at uh, 1 to 1, or just a, a standard size LCD, I guess you could say. Um, okay, so with the LCD, let's say we want to uh, pop in some text over here. So let's, uh, let's go over here and say this is a test. Um, and I want to have that text in... I don't know, this color over here, how about this, uh, this color, and let's set the size of it to, uh, say, 30, and then uh, if you uh, make sure your cursor's in the text box here, and then you just hit enter, um, and now I've got that. So, obviously, it's not exactly where I'd want it on the LCD, but uh, this is the great thing about this, this tool here. So, I can go up to this drag tool here, and I can just kind of move it. Now, before I get too much further, let me turn on another option. And this, uh, if you made your own LCDs, you'd be familiar with this code window here. Uh, this is basically what you type into Imperium by itself. Um, and everything, all the changes I make over here, it's putting in all the code. And you can see it real time adjusting that code in the actual LCD. So obviously, this is a little bit too big right now. Uh, this text doesn't quite fit here. So Let's go and I will go to uh, the resize tool and I'll just kind of click on that text and I'll kind of drag it a little bit here, get it so it fits and we'll uh, move it into this position over here and bam, now we've got the, the text in place. Now obviously text and color and position is only part of what you can do with LCDs. Um, let's get into the, another aspect. This is also why I had, the, how, why I had this window so small. Um, all your symbols. So here's all the symbols that are in Imperium as well. So say I wanted uh, to put in, uh, I don't know, how about a triangle? Let's grab this triangle and I, let's say I want to put a triangle here and here and here um, and bam. And you can see I added all that to the code. Uh, when, you're, when you're done with your LCD, um, well hold on, let's do a couple more examples here. Let me uh, grab something else here. How about this arrow? Let's change the color of this arrow to, I don't know, something else. Uh, how about that color? And let me put an arrow over here. I'll put it right over the text. Oh, geez. Oh, well, that arrow's kind of blocking the text there. So let's, uh, let's change this. This is another feature here. We can set our alpha transparency. So say I wanted this down to about 50%, so it's like half see-through. Um, and then I want to apply it to something I already put down there. I can do this uh, fill alpha color and I can select on that arrow and now I applied alpha transparency to it so now you can see through the arrow. Um, another uh, great option you got here is rotation. So say I wanted the, the arrow rotated and we'll take it and we'll, let's move this arrow down over here and uh, it's just it's too small now so
Sorry about that. My mic just cut out when I was talking there. Um, I, my, the headphones I'm using are about toast, so I, I got to get a new, new pair of headphones for recording. But uh, yeah, now I got this new problem where the mic wants to turn off every, every few minutes, even if I'm talking on it. Uh, I got to figure that one out, but uh, things aren't working very well. Anyway, let me uh, get over here and let's take one of these and say I want to rotate this line that way. And let's take this other line here and we'll move it so it kind of lines up. And uh, with these lines here, I didn't really want them in alpha transparency, so uh, otherwise you see problems. So I'll, uh, I'll move that up again and I'll kind of spray these so they're completely opaque. Move them around a little bit more. Zoom in to make sure uh, the, the corners are lined up really good here. And you, basically you can make your, uh, your like line art type of stuff, uh, frames, borders, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty nicely and accurately and the amount of time it would have taken to do this actually going into the uh, editor itself inside of Imperium would be it would take a lot of time you have to type all this out trial and error and then there's a big problem where it doesn't uh, accept it, uh, the right number of characters on a line so you get all kind of uh, messed up but any of the more complicated LCDs that I've done in the past I've, I've always had to uh, copy them to like notepad or or some other editor to actually edit them because the the one in Imperium um, really screws up with uh, uh, too much code on one line and it, uh, the cursor persistence are all off and it, it really messes you up. So basically, once you're done with your LCD, and obviously this is just a, a test here, then you can just go up to this LCD output code uh, window here and hit copy, and it copies that to the clipboard. So then what I would do to get this inside of Imperium is just go... Uh, get into the LCD that I want to add this to, make sure the, the size settings are the same, and uh, control V to paste this text into it. And that's, and that's it. You, cannot, you can manually copy this text if you wanted to by hitting control C and then control V when you're in the LCD itself. So this is just something I wanted to show you. Um, I've been kind of sitting on it. I was having trouble trying to figure out how to record it. Uh, so I, you could see all the different stuff going on because it's all individual windows and things like that. But um, very cool uh, uh, program. Um, much, uh, much welcome to any, anybody that makes LCDs, um, it's, uh, including myself. Like, I love to see LCDs. I typically hate to make them because of the frustration level of trying to use the, uh, the built-in LCD editor. And you don't have any of this what you see is what you get kind of options very hard to see an LCD that you're actively working on in the in the game and trying to get your your camera right so you can see what's going on and edit the thing at the same time and uh, real real problematic. So this this will certainly change the way it's being done. And please uh, grab grab this software again. The uh, link will be in the video description and also I'll pro I'll, I'll put the link also in the uh, the first comment on the uh, on the post and uh, check it out now. I, I Granted, there's probably some bugs going on here. It's still in development, um, and there's probably some features that I could. There's a couple of features I could think of that I think would be really cool, and I don't know if it has it yet or not in here. I've been kind of messing with the the main controls and understanding how they work. But uh, one thing I, that I would kind of like is a uh, option to turn on like a, a definable grid. Like if I wanted a grid every five squares or something like that that I could turn that on, but uh, leave it definable. Um, that would be kind of neat in lining things up really accurately. Um, you know, it's not needed, but it's just uh, another, like, little utility option that I think would uh, ma make it just a, a smidgen, smidgen uh, better yet. But uh, other than that, I'm going to try to use this with any new LCDs that I'm making moving forward here, and it's honestly, it's, it looks like it's going to work out quite well. There's so many options you can do. Everything is right there can see what's going on which is wonderful in itself um, and it's just really easy to work with uh, for the most part here oh yeah there's there's my uh, there's my horse <laughs> my knight uh, but yeah this just just so easy and then uh, the rotation and I mean you can see what's going on you can uh, manipulate your colors pick any colors you want so you don't have to like with uh, my LCDs I would uh, generally p too lazy to look up official color codes uh, so I just
Apologize again. Mike just cut out again. Just caught that again. But uh, I was explaining that, uh, like the in the color code, the first two characters are red, the second two are blue, and the third two are green. And I would just kind of put in values there and see what it looks like, um, which is it works. <laughs> but uh, this is much much better when you can actually go out and pick whatever color you do want. Um, and for uh, future videos too, I gotta I gotta invest in a new headset to record videos with this uh, the, the one I'm using now is dying now the mic keeps turning off I can't hear anything uh, that comes through so when I'm actually recording uh, games even like uh, that of uh, satisfactory which I was recently doing I literally can't hear what's going on in the game itself uh, when I'm recording it so yeah I definitely need to invest in a new uh, headset for recording one hopefully that doesn't click and clatter around either but I really wanted to show you this. I've had this, uh, this software for about a week now. It was updated. I grabbed the newest version before I did this video. Um, and again, it's still in development. Please uh, offer the, uh, the author any assistance or troubleshooting or um, you know, desired features or things like that. Like in, in my case, I think a, a, a grid would be really neat, uh, something where you could put in there so you can line things up really quickly and easily. It's not necessary. You can still do it. Um, and w you know, when you zoom way in on these things too, you can, uh, you can be very, uh, accurate with, uh, your positioning of, um, where you're putting anything. One other option that is in here too, that I don't know if I showed is, uh, this works on text where I can actually go right click on it and set the size of the text I wanted to. If I want to manually type in that, that text, I can do that there. Um, so, I mean, yeah, pretty straightforward, simple. Um, it's got uh, some other information, tells you about the different controls, and there's probably, I'm sure, stuff I'm missing here. Um, also, when you go to the, uh, the link that will be provided there, uh, there's more description and information about this on uh, the ins and outs of the software. But I really wanted to get that out there. Please support the author that's making this. Uh, again, uh, Nafriu, or N-A-F-R-E-I, you. I'm sure I'm butchering that name as well, but um, really appreciate it. Really cool software. Uh, awesome to see this being done. I mean, this is like almost seven years after Imperium came out with uh, LCD stuff. Um, and there's so uh, LCDs are extremely powerful um, in Imperium. You could do a lot with them. And uh, as we keep on seeing new and new uh, creations with these fancy LCDs and stuff, it's, it's, it's super worthwhile. Um, but it, the big problem with LCDs this entire time was it was an, a very time consuming and troublesome to create them. Um, with enough fidgeting, you'll eventually get it. But, you know, like uh, one of uh, like an LCD that I, I commonly use for uh, putting over storage controllers. Um, I mean, I probably spent three and a half hours making that LCD originally. Um, and it was frustrating the whole the whole way trying to get everything to line up and and, and and what really sucks with building your own LCDs and knowing the code even is after like like say I had this this first line here if I suddenly wanted to move this somewhere else it would reposition everything else so I'd have to go through and update all the line height positions of everything else in the LCD as well in this case I can just say I want that there and it's done it, it updates all the line heights. It makes it work um, entirely easier, entirely easier. So, again, kudos to the author. And, uh, yeah, let, 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 uh, let me know what you think. But uh, better off, go to imperiumonline.com where the link will be and uh, put in your comments there about the actual uh, program here. And if there's any bugs, problems that you notice with it, something that you think could be improved, uh, let, let the author know. And uh, again, thanks a bunch. And other than that, that is, uh, that is it for this video. And you guys have yourself a great day. I will talk to you later.